three blocks are in contact with each other on a frictionless horizontal surface as shown in the figure. A horizontal force F is applied to uh, mass 1. Draw the forces acting on the blocks. Okay, so we have an external force here. Yeah. Uh, so this is the external force or pushing force. Uh, it push on, on M1. Uh, and then M1 push M2, M2 push M3. Uh, that's how it goes. And one thing to note here, it is uh, frictionless. Uh, the surface is uh, smooth. Yeah? Smooth or frictionless. So no friction. Yeah? Uh, no friction. And then uh, this, all these blocks are in contact with each other. So that means uh, they, uh, they have a contact force. Okay? They have contact force. So how to draw the free boy diagram? Okay? Um, right. So first of all, let us draw roughly. So for mass 1, it has this external force. Okay? Uh, it has this uh, external force. For mass 1, it has external force. And then it has its own uh, weight. Okay? Own weight. Uh, own normal force. And then uh, it fills the block by uh, block by uh, mass 2. So which is uh, F21. Uh, okay? F21. Ah, and then uh, mass 2, it feels the mass 1 is pushing it. Uh, yeah, it feels mass 1 is pushing it, okay, uh, which is uh, F, uh, which is, this is F12, okay. It has its own weight, okay, it has own weight and it has the normal force, okay. No friction, lah, yeah, because it's smooth surface, so no friction from the ground. <laughs> no friction from the ground, okay. okay. So, uh, okay, mass 2 feels that mass 1 is pushing, pushing it. So, this is the F12, F12 from mass 1, okay. F, ma mass 1 push mass 2 with F12, okay. So, mass 2 also has own weight and the normal force. Uh, mass 2 also feels that mass 3 is blocking the way. Uh, it feels the mass, two, mass 3 is blocking the way. So, mass 3 actually uh, pushes on mass 2, yeah. Uh? Uh, mass 3 uh, blocking mass 2. Uh, he blocking mass 2 with this uh, force F32. Uh, F32. Okay? And then how about mass 3? Mass 3, he feels that uh, uh, mass 2 is pushing it. Uh, he feels mass 2 is pushing it with uh, this F23. Uh, F2 on 3. Yeah? F2 on 3. And then it has its own weight, okay, it has own weight, and it has its own normal force. And all of them don't have any friction because the surface is smooth. Uh, so now let us draw the uh, free boy diagram for each one, yeah? Remember, here you have uh, three objects, isn't it? Here you have three objects, so you must have three free body diagram. Ah. Uh, Okay, so you have three objects, you must have, you have three objects, you must have three free body diagram. Okay, so uh, let us draw the mass one. Okay, this is mass one. Uh, and then we have mass two, we have mass three. Okay, mass one, mass two, mass three. Uh, first of all, let us draw the, uh, you know, the axis lah. Yeah, we draw the axis, the x-axis and the y-axis. Uh, yeah, so uh, do the same for all the, you know, do the same. Oh, what happened? Uh, okay, hold on a second. Okay, so uh, yeah. So we have the axis for mass 2, we have the axis for mass 3. Okay, and then draw a point, yeah, only a point, don't draw the mass, don't draw the whole object, only draw the point mass, uh, okay, uh, the point mass. So this is mass 1, mass 1, uh, experience what force, uh, remember your, remember your, your external force, la? your external force is, looks like it going towards the point mass, isn't it? 
you're going towards the point mass. Uh, don't draw the external force towards the point mass. All your force must be out of the all forces must be out of the point mass. Still remember? Okay. Still remember I tell you that the force uh, for the free body diagram, you must draw all the forces out of the dot. Yeah, out of the point mass. Huh? Still remember this one. Uh, draw and label all the force outwards. Uh, remember outwards from the outwards from the dot. Uh, not inward. You must draw outward from the dot. And the object you must draw as a point mass. As a point mass as a as a point mass as a dot. Your forces must be uh, outwards from the dot. Okay. Uh, remember that. Uh, okay. Okay. So your force must be out of the uh, out of the dot. So like this external force, you don't draw towards the dot. Huh? You must draw out of the dot. So remember this one. Don't draw towards the dot. You must draw out of the dot. So that means you must bring you must bring this uh, again. You must bring this external force to the other side. Uh, so that the force seems to go out from the dot. Uh, okay. So bring it. Uh, yeah. This one just bring it, bring it over, bring it to the, the other side, but still maintain the same direction to the right. Okay, so draw it over here. Uh, draw it over here. Ah, still going to the right. You see that? Still going to the right on mass one. Uh, still going to the right. But the point is the force must go out of the point, not go towards the point mass. Okay. And then we have the weight. We have the weight and the normal force. Okay, the weight, weight one, we have the normal force one, okay, uh, a force applied. So, this is a smooth surface. Remember, this is a smooth surface, no friction going behind. There's only one force pushing forward, no, no friction uh, opposing the motion. So, this object surely all, this system surely, they accelerate to the front. Because there's no opposing force, there's no friction. Surely, there's only one force, external force, pushing it forward. So, this whole system sure accelerate forward. So, you must draw acceleration. Ah, you must draw acceleration. Okay? And then, no, it's smooth surface, so no friction. Ah, okay? This is mass 1. Ah, so, that's it. Yeah? Ah, remember, ah, your, your, your weight, you need to label W1, W2, W3. Don't just put uh, w, W, W. No, yeah? they have different mass, different weight. Uh, different mass, different weight. So, you must uh, label the subscript uh, 1, 2, 3. You must label the subscript 1, 2, 3. Uh, okay? Say similarly, don't, uh, don't uh, put this as no N, N, N. Uh, don't put this as N, N, N. You need to label them. Uh, N1, N2, N3 because all of them have different normal force. Uh, they have different normal force. Okay? Uh, oh, okay. I forget. Uh, for mass 1, have another contact force uh, from mass 2 which is F21. So, draw F21 here. Uh, also, F21. Uh, F21, go, don't go to draw I don't want you to draw the free, uh, your force. Uh. Let's say this is mass 1. Uh. Uh, sorry, let's say this is mass 1. I don't want you to draw uh, external force like this and then uh, F21 like this and then the weight and then the normal force. No, huh? cannot. Huh? Don't draw the force towards the point mass. Uh, wrong. Yeah, you must draw all the force. You must draw all the force outwards from the dot. Okay, so that means this uh, F21, you need to bring it over to the left hand side, but still maintain the same direction to the left. And then the external force, you must bring it to the other side. So it go out from the point and still maintain the direction to the right. Okay, uh, F21 maintain direction to the left. Uh, external force maintain direction to the right. Uh, but the point is, these two forces cannot go towards the point. They must go out of the point, must go outward from the point. Okay? So, F21, bring it over. Bring it over to the left hand side. So, it, it is over here. Uh, it is over here. Uh, this is F21. Ah, understand? 
So your free border gram, you need to rearrange uh, F21 need to bring the other side, external force also to the other side. Uh, so become like this. Uh, this is the correct one. Okay? Uh, so that's it. And then for mass 2, uh, mass 2 also don't go to draw O, oh, don't go to draw uh, F, uh, F12, uh, F32 like this. Yeah? Don't, uh, don't, 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 don't. Uh. Uh, so how do we draw? Bring it to the other side. F12 to the other side. F331 also to the other side. But maintain the same direction. Okay. So all this you rub off. Rub off this one all. Okay. So your F12. Bring it to the other side. But maintain direction to the right. So which is. Uh, which is. Um, you know. Which is uh, uh, this direction. So F12 is here. Uh, this is F12. Okay, F12. Uh, force of mass, mass 1, push mass 2. Eh? F1 on 2. Uh, and then F32 is over here. F32 is over here, you know. Uh, because mass 3 is blocking the way. Eh? Uh, mass 2 feels that mass 3 is uh, uh, blocking the way, pushing it uh, opposite direction. Okay, uh, so you see, uh, both forces now go out of the point. Uh, that's good. And then we have the weight, okay, we have the weight, uh, remember, label as W2, don't just put as W, don't just put as W. And then here, you have the normal force, normal force 2, uh, normal force 2, okay. Uh, and then, write the acceleration beside, uh, that's it, uh, that's it, yeah, this is the free body diagram for mass 2. And then, for mass 3, for mass 3, it has the... Uh, F23 uh, again don't go to draw your don't go to draw your force F23 over here yeah bring it to the other side bring it to the other side uh, so that uh, yeah uh, bring it to the other side uh, so F23 becomes over here uh, F23 uh, maintain direction to the right but going out of the point and then it has the weight uh, 3 and normal force 3 uh, weight 3 and normal force normal force 3 ah, and then it has the acceleration to the right acceleration to the right uh, okay so that's the uh, free body diagram for 3 masses remember you have 3 objects yeah, 3 objects you must have 3 separate free body diagram uh, that's it and the external force only happen in mass 1 you see only happen in mass 1 uh, it, uh, uh, the mass 2 and mass 3 we don't draw the external force uh, we do only draw the contact force uh, yeah uh, so that's it uh, remember and the weight uh, you must label as w1 w2 w3 don't put w w w uh, this normal force also n1 n2 n3 don't put n n n okay so that's it for these questions